Hello friends, this video on matrices part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Let's take some example, we'll represent the data in the form of matrix. We'll represent point in a line. So let's say I have four points, point A, point B, point C and point D. So these four points are in a plane. So it will have some X, Y and Z. Similarly, this guy will also have some X, Y and Z. And this guy will also have some X, Y, Z. And this guy will also have some X, Y, Z. Because X, Y, Z coordinates, this guy will have. Let's assume for this point A, the X, Y, Z is 1, 2 and 3. This guy is, let's suppose, 2, 5, 6. This guy is 4, 7, 8. And this guy is, let's suppose, 8, 2, 1. Anything I can take. So these are the four points we have. Now, if you see, I can represent this in this fashion. I have this x for point A, point B, point C, and point D. So I have four points. I have this x, y, z. I can represent it in this fashion. Sorry, it is not straight. This is not straight. Yeah. Now, if you see, x is 1 for point A, y is 2, and z is 3. Similarly, for B, it is 2, 5, 6. And for C, it is 4, 7, 8. And for D, it is 8, 2, 1. So, this is one representation where my horizontal R, horizontal sets are these points, and verticals are x, y, z coordinates. So, if you see, they are 1, 2, 3, 4 sets horizontally, this is 4 into, and they are 1, 2, 3 vertical sets, this is 4 into 3. You can also represent this matrices in the other way around where I will put uh, A, B, C, D in this uh, line and X, Y, Z point in this line. So what I will get here is this kind of set where X for point A you have X is 1, for point A, Y is 2, Z is 3, for point B it is 2, 5, 6, for C it is 4, 7, 8. And for D, it is 8, 2. So this matrix, if you see, they are 1, 2, 3 horizontal lines, 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 vertical set, so 3 into 4. So both are matrix representation for this data. And the data is, there are 4 points A, B, C, D on a plane. Since it is on a plane, so I have X, Y, Z coordinates. So for this data, I have two mathematical or matrix representation of this data. And why we convert this into this data? See, logically, if you want to do some operation on this, you are a human, you can think how to operate. But when you are feeding this data into computer, you can't write like this. You have to feed data to a computer in a particular form. And that's where the matrix comes into picture. So when you want to feed this data into computer, we generally feed in the form of array, rectangular array. We write all those values in a rectangular array and we give this rectangular array to the computer to perform operation. Now, this rectangular array is nothing but the matrix. So one very critical application of matrix in, is in the form of computer world where you want to give this data to computer and ask computer to perform something on this. Maybe multiply this by two or add these points or no, do anything or find a, a object which you form using these points. To, to do anything, you have to first give data to computer. So this matrix is one way where you give data to computer. Also, let's take one more example. We can represent the vertices of a closed rectang rectilinear figure. So let's suppose we have one figure which has a well, because it's a figure rectilinear figure. This is the figure actually, right, four, four sides, I mean I didn't draw properly but it's something that's four sides and let's suppose these are A, B, C and D, four sides and let's take any values here, Let, let's A, B, 2 comma 0, B, B, 3 comma 5, C, B, 
six comma one and DV let's suppose eight comma three. Now this data also, if you want to now present to computer, you want to find the area of this or you no, know, you want to find the perimeter of this. So you can do all this thing manually. But if you want to give this data to computer to perform operation, what you have to do is you have to convert this into a matrix form and then give it to computer. So now let's again convert this into matrix form. So one option we have is again same way. We have this point A, B, C, and D, and these are our but vertices. So let's draw a matrix like this. Correct. A for A point x is two, y is zero. For B it is three comma five. You can see. For C it is six comma one. So it is six one. And for D it is eight comma three. So this is one representation. And here if you see one, two, three, four horizontal sets. So four into, and they are two vertical sets. Four into. We can also represent this similar data in this fashion, where we have x and y as the points, and a, b, c, d are my x, y are the coordinates, and a, b, c, d are points in this fashion. So here for point a, x is two comma two and y is zero. For b it is three five, so this is three five. For c it is six one, so this becomes six one. And for D, it is a three, so this is a three. And if you see this one, they are one and two horizontal sets, so this is two into one, two, three, four vertical sets, two into four. So these are my two representation or two matrix representation for this data. And this data we can feed to computer and we can work on the data. So please understand. Why do we need matrix? Because we need to represent such data, such real data, where we have you no know, points or coordinates of a rectilinear figure or uh, five or six different uh, points on a plane. Such kind of data, when we want to feed to computer, in that case, we need matrix. And here are the two examples where we have converted the real data into matrix form. So either of these is in this case also either of these is let's take some more example so we have the information regarding the number of men and women workers in three different factories factory 1 2 and 3 and it's factory a b and c actually so i'll make it a b and c factory a b and c we have to represent this data in the form of three cross two matrices please note they have given the order so for this data, we know that there are two possible options. Let's let's draw both the possible options here. So we have factory. We'll draw here A, B, and C, and this is men. This is women. And let's draw like this. For factory A, it is twenty-three men and thirty-four women. For factory B, it is twenty-five men and thirty-five women. For factory C, it is 12 and 54. You see this, how many number of horizontal sets? 1, 2 and 3. So this is 3. Number of vertical sets? 1 and 2. So this is 3 into 2. Order matrix. We can also write this matrix in this fashion where we have this men and women. And then we have factory A, B and C. And then we see for factory A, the men is 23, the women is 34. So for factory A, the women is 34. Please note the way I'm doing for factory B, the men is 25. For factory B, the men is 25. This is nothing but the point which means like this. For factory B, the women is 35. So you take factory B and we take women, we get this point. So that is 35. For factory C, the men are 12. Factory C, the men are 12. This point is factory C, men are 12. For factory C, the women are 54. Factory C is this, women is 40, 54 is this. This data, if you see, they are one, two horizontal sets and one, two, and three vertical sets. So these are two matrix representation I can get for this data. Now the question says we have to write in the form of three cross two only. So this two cross three is something which we don't need. We need three cross two only. Correct, we are done. 
Now the question says, what does the entry in third row and second column? Third row. First row is this. Second row is this. And third row is this. So third row is this thread. Now talking about second column. First column is this. Second column is this. Second column is this. The intersection point is 54. 54 is the only digit or only number that satisfies third row and second column. So 54 is my answer. And what is 54? 54 is nothing but women in factory C. So it is women in factory C. That is my third row, second column. Correct. Third row, second column is nothing but women in factory C and that is 54. So what I have done here, I have represented this data, women workers and men workers in factory. And I got this matrix form and I got two matrix form and I was told to convert this into three cross two. So I took this one and I ignored this and then I was asked, what does the entry in third row and second column means? So we saw third row is this, that is, uh, factory C and second column is women worker. So you combine these two that means women worker and factory C. Yeah. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.